Uh, yes, Bridget, we're out here in Cocoa Beach where, you know, we've been getting those outer, very outermost bands of uh, Hurricane Irma. The winds have been picking up throughout the morning, uh, gusting around 30 miles an hour. Conditions aren't too bad right now, but they're going to be getting worse, um, you know, throughout the day and into tomorrow, of course. Now, we are uh, along State Road A1A in uh, Cocoa Beach, along uh, also State Road 520, and at that intersection is the uh, Faulty Towers Motel, where uh, it remains open at this hour and is actually taking people who are evacuating from down south, from uh, southwest Florida, which is going to get a lot of damage from the storm, and also from down in the Florida Keys. And uh, right now, I want to. Uh, I'm going to be joined by uh, James Collins right now. Uh, you, you're from the Keys. You said you're from Big Pine Key, and you decided to come up here to flee the storm. Tell me about the, the fears that are going through your mind right now. My biggest fears are just the severity of the storm. It's 400-mile storm, 150-mile-an-hour winds. That damage is going to be immense. Plus, we have huge rain, uh, storm surges, flooding, uh, People have stayed down there. I really would, I hope the best for them while they're down there, but I wish they would evacuate while they had the chance. I was over in Tampa yesterday where the storm shifted westward, which drove us over here to Cocoa Beach, hopefully to catch the lesser brunt of the storm and be just a little bit safer over here. Mm -hmm. Now, you've been talking with your friends down in the Keys, um, which is really starting to get some of the worst part of the storm. The eye is getting very close to them uh, at this hour. What are they telling you about what the, the conditions that they are seeing right now? A bunch of uh, uprooted trees, broken tree limbs. There was a fire on Industrial Road on Big Pine Key that apparently the 911 down there isn't responding to because of the evacuation. They're apparently not sending in any first responders until the storm has passed. It just makes me really nervous for my friends and family down there that everyone will be okay by the end of the storm. I mean, we can replace things and possessions, but we can't replace people. And you've told me that you've ridden out other storms before, but what is it about this storm that made you want to get out of the Keys? The, how massive it is. 400 mile storm, that's the size of Florida. It is an organized storm. It is a dangerous and deadly storm. A lot of the other hurricanes I've been through haven't been this compact and this severe. Mm. So this being my first serious, serious storm I can remember going through, it's racked my nerves pretty bad. And you're up here in Cocoa Beach. You're going to ride out, ride things out with your family. We're going to be getting some of those conditions, but definitely not as bad as the Keys. When everything is said and done, tell me what your plan is uh, going to be after the storm blows through. After the storm blows through, we're going to head back down south, see what we can salvage out of the home, if we can salvage anything, and just rebuild and start all over again. It's the only thing we really can do at this point. And what, what are you afraid you're going to come home to? You are telling me about that earlier, uh, after the storm hits Big Pine Key. I'm scared that my house and the rest of the keys down there are just going to be absolutely devastated with damage and loss. It's just, it's... So it's one of my biggest fears living down there is having a storm this bad go through. Okay, James, thank you for speaking with us this morning. We're definitely going to be thinking about you throughout all of this, and we hope that you stay safe and your family stay safe um, as Hurricane Irma goes through Florida and we're seeing the effects of this storm. I, I, now, we're going to be staying out here in Cocoa Beach throughout the day and monitoring the conditions here in Brevard County. Um, the, the, the winds are going to be picking up all day Sunday and into Monday morning. We've already been uh, seeing a tornado watch here in this area. and. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, things are just going to be uh, deteriorating throughout the day. And we'll, of course, keep you updated here on News 6. Justin and Bridget.